In the 1953 National Football League draft, the New York Giants selected a 1952 Black All-America tackle from little-known Morgan State College in the 27th round. His name was Roosevelt Brown and his youth and relative inexperience were obvious when he joined the Giants for his first summer training camp. But even in the very early stages, Giants coach Steve Owen liked what he saw in Brown, his 6-3, 255-pound size, his powerful arms, his trim 29-inch waistline, his willingness to work hard and his ability to learn. So Rosie Brown, a true sleeper pick, got his chance to make the Giants squad and he made it big. Soon he was the starting left offensive tackle and it was a job he held for 13 years until he retired following the 1965 season. Rosie was a classic pass blocker and, on running plays, he could make the blocks that opened gaping holes in the enemy ranks. And he could do something few tackles are called upon to do, pull and lead on wide ground plays such as a pitch out to the halfback. S.A. Rookie. Brown appeared in all 12 games for a Giants team that compiled a 3-9 record during the 1953 season. In October 1953, sports writer Earl Wright wrote of Brown, he is built like a museum statue, slender hips and broad shoulders. But he is no statue on the field. He surprised the Giants by outrunning Arnie Weinmeister, New York's fleet defensive tackle, in wind sprints. Brown also gained attention as a rookie for his style, wearing fancy street clothing, and regularly sporting a mustache, derby hat and umbrella. Brown remained a fixture in the Giants' offensive line through the 1965 season. In his prime, between 1956 and 1963, he helped lead the team to six division championships and one NFL championship. Brown was known primarily as an offensive tackle but also played on the Giants' kickoff, kickoff return, punt, punt return, and field goal attempt platoons. He was also known on defense as the head traffic cop on New York's last-ditch goal line stand platoon. During the height of Rosie's career, the Giants were enjoying an unusual string of successes with six divisional crowns and one NFL title in an eight-year stretch. While no one player can be credited with the Giants' great victory ride, Rosie deserves as much credit as anyone. For eight straight years, he was a virtually unanimous All-NFL choice and was named to nine Pro Bowls. In the 1956 NFL Championship game, Rosie handled the vaunted Chicago Bears defenses so well that he awarded linemen of the game honors. In 1975, Rosie Brown became only the second player to be elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame on the merits of his offensive line play alone. In November 1964, at age 32, Brown acknowledged that time was catching up with him. You lose a step and you're done. You know how to do things, but you can't do them anymore. Brown lasted one more year, appearing in all 14 games for the 1965 Giants. In all, Brown appeared in 162 games for the Giants, missing only four games during his 13-year NFL career. Brown was selected as a first-team All-NFL player eight times during his NFL career, 1956, AP, UPI, NEA, Sporting News, 1957, AP, UPI, NEA, Sporting News, 1958, AP, UPI, NEA, Sporting News, 1959, AP, UPI, NEA, Sporting News, 1960, UPI, Sporting News, 1961, AP, UPI, NEA, Sporting News, 1962, AP, UPI, and 1963. UPI, NEA. He was also selected to play in the Pro Bowl nine times, 1955, 1956, 1957, 1958, 1959, 1960, 1962, 1964, and 1965.